like all the pumpkin spice lattes. It's like, okay, is there anything else? It's like, no, I'll be back in here. We're shooting something. I'm gonna have about ten more. And she just started laughing. And I'm like, I'm glad you're laughing. We're not doing it all at Starbucks. Oh. Like, well, that's the first time I've ever had a latte of a pumpkin spice kind. You've never had a pumpkin spice latte? No. I think Starbucks invented pumpkin spice lattes. I can't think of who did it before. The reason why you can't taste the pumpkin is because there is no pumpkin in pumpkin spice lattes. It's the, the pumpkin spice is the spices that go into making the pumpkin pie. There's no actual pumpkin in it. Obviously, the pumpkin is a, is a symbol of the fall. That's why they have why they serve Then put in pumpkin the in it. Juice a pumpkin and put that, it in. That, Oh yeah, we should do like a rubric. So sweetness level, um, presentation maybe, um, and uh, uh, is it spooky? No. Because it's fall. Okay. Like, is it? The alien didn't come out and bite my face sure. off while drinking. Does this. it make you feel like you're walking through a fall meadow? The sweetness level, I Can think I? it's pretty good, especially when you get it half sweet. You got it full sweet. This is pretty sweet. Regular. Okay, let me put it this way. I'm a person that eats maybe way too much sugary things. Mm -hmm. This was okay. I think the presentation, you know, it is what it is. It's Starbucks. It's normally a to-go drink, but they still take that extra step to put the, the whipped cream and the dusting on top, you know. Does it make you feel like you're walking through a fall meadow? Does it feel like fall? No, it's just coffee. It's I haven't been drinking this in the fall meadow, therefore my brain can't tie those two together. I think it feels pretty much like fall. I also got a mummy cake pop. Because <laughs> it's spooky. It's called Arnold Vassley. He played um, Imhotep. Everyone knows who Arnold Vassley is. <laughs> It tasted a bit different than the Starbucks one in the sense that uh, it was stronger. Compared to this, Starbucks does feel more like a kid's drink. Like it's very sweet. This one I feel the sweetness ratio is actually pretty well balanced. And, and it definitely feels like a It feels like I should be drinking this sitting by the fire. The presentation was pretty nice. Like it was a it was a big dollop of whipped cream. Um, it was hotter. Not as sweet. I think I taste the spice a little bit more. This is something I definitely associate with fall. I guess that's the association. This is the one I would have an association with fall the most. I do like the presentation. I like that it's just latte art instead of whipped cream. You know, I can't really taste the coffee. Like, I, think the, I think the coffee is probably a very mild espresso. No. You didn't have water at all today? No. I mean, you should probably drink some water. Well, how much am I supposed to drink? If I wasn't thirsty, though. Water? What are you, a child? Eight cups a day? Everyone knows that. That's too much. What happens if you don't? Like, what's the side effects of just drinking this stuff all day? Um, do you ever see Steve Buscemi? Oh. How do you do, fellow kids? Mine's like super full, I don't want to spill it. Wow, that's a lot of cloves. Yeah, this is a really spicy latte. If you took a bite one of those spice candles, <laughs> you know what I mean? The espresso is really strong. Yeah. Like, a bit too strong for my taste. 
This is trying everything in the, the spice cupboard. <laughs> It, it doesn't feel like the regular spices that we've had so far. No, this like is very it tastes, potent. It tastes very different. Like it feels like they made their own spice blend. It also doesn't feel like it's a syrup. Definitely way more on the bitter side. Of it. This is like the edgy pumpkin spice latte. Yeah. <laughs> so this is like um, jet black hair off to the side, kind of over the eyes. Yeah. And this is Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man Three. Yeah. Pumpkin spice latte for sure. Yeah. This is like drinking Green Day. <laughs> this, is, this is like. Like drinking American idiot. Yeah. <laughs> Which is so fitting because it's when September ends. Alright, good job. I'm sorry. Wake me up when September ends. You ready to pet the cats? Yeah. Oh, we get to play with them? Sweetness ratio, I really like. It's not as spicy as some of the other ones. No, I feel definitely like it's, not. It is also called a pumpkin pie latte, not a pumpkin spice latte. So maybe they just toned out the spice. Presentations, you know, whatever. I mean, it's it's a to-go drink. We're surrounded by cats, so we can't really have ceramic in here. Definitely feels like fall drinking it, I think. Maybe it's also just the atmosphere. <laughs> Where'd you come from? Tim Hortons, a national treasure. Some would say too much of a national treasure. Some would say national treasure three. Tim Hortons. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta steal a honey cruller. We gotta find George Washington's honey cruller. <laughs> Do you guys have a pumpkin spice latte? Uh, we don't have latte. Cut the ice okay. cap. Okay, I, I guess we'll do uh, two pumpkin spice ice caps. Spice. Okay, that is eight eighty nine at the window. Okay, perfect, thank you. Pardon me? I said thank you, sorry. Well, like, what did she hear you say? I, God bless everyone that works at Tim Hortons. I, they're doing <laughs> God bless a, them. No, but like, actually, they're doing a great job, but I feel like they have so many buttons on their computers that like every time I ever order something from Tim Hortons, for, okay, this it's like NASA mission control. I'm like, I'll have a nice caramel latte or whatever. They're just like, oh fuck. It's like Houston, like, we like, have a problem. We had to get an ice cap because they didn't have lattes at this location. Ice caps, a classic Canadian drink, and uh, I've never had a pumpkin spice version of this, so. Let's try it. Ow, it is so sweet. Oh my god. Look at that! Look at the sugar in the bottom! <laughs> yeah, it is just like coated in syrup. Oh man. It doesn't taste like pumpkin spice too much. It tastes more like caramel than anything else. The sweetness ratio is way off. This is the sweetest thing we've ever drank. Uh, it's what you'd expect. It's Sim Hortons. It's made for everyone. Kids are going to drink this and love it. Don't give your kids this. That like, kid's not going to go to sleep for a week. Like, yeah, just buy him a Coke. It's probably less sugar. If I was having this for dessert, yeah. it would be fine. If I hadn't already had six pumpkin spice lattes, a lot of which were very sweet, this would be okay. Anyways, and just because it's Tim Hortons, they're famous for it, I had to get a pumpkin spice donut. Alright. The donut is somehow less sweet than the ice cap, which is funny. <laughs> yeah. The, the ice cap is so sweet. That it is canceling. Yeah, that's sweet. what I think this is happening. This is the seventh one we've had, and uh, it's starting to all blur together. This definitely has a strong coffee taste. All I know is that everything, including the air, tastes like pumpkin spice at this point. This tastes like yellow. All right. Uh, Jesse's losing it, um, but I think the sugar ratio is pretty decent. Um, it's not super sweet like some of the other ones that we've had. The caffeine is pretty strong here, or the coffee taste. Um, again, probably a darker roast of espresso. Um, the presentation was top notch. I, I really like. Oh boy, 
presentation was top notch. I really liked how it looked when it came out. Does it feel like fall? I don't care, man. It's it is so much caffeine at this point. I can't tell if everything is shaking. You're probably the most still I've ever seen you. <laughs> We're consuming so much pumpkin spice lattes that through adaptation theory, our bodies will just slowly accustom to it and try and process it as best as can. It's kind of like the panda bear eating bamboo, right? Do you like this? Is it good? Yeah, it's okay. All right, we're, we're done. You seem way too calm right now, let's go. Yeah, that's not good. See, this is the worst oh, there's part. There's no handle. That's kind of cool. It tastes like a pumpkin spice latte. It just tastes like a pumpkin spice latte. Let me do my latte. video. Okay. Hang on. Give me a second. There's something additional. Boy. Did they give you a smaller cup than me? No, they're the same size. Okay. I think it's like a ginger. <gasps> you taste a ginger? Like a ginger? I think I'm being nauseous. I think it's really starting to take a toll on me. I feel like I have um, two hearts. However, I can still taste it. And um, I think, I think the sweetness is, it's pretty subtle. What sandwich? I didn't eat a sandwich. Yeah, he did. Me at, um, I'm losing my goddamn mind. Yes. I did. The sandwich. Yeah, I haven't eaten it yet. What's precognition? Uh, it's that movie that Steven Spielberg made. Oh yeah! Presentation wise, it's great. I really like these little cups. No fan. Alright, time to chug it. Don't chug it. Don't chug it at all. I can't actually. I'm, you know what? Like, my brain makes a lot of bad decisions on my behalf that I have no control over, but right now I've kind of like told it like, hey, you know, if we do do this, there it is. <laughs> do do. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm gonna die. We were almost gonna die. So yeah, we're gonna have some food and we're gonna have our ninth pumpkin slice latte. There's something different about it. The topping is actually really interesting because I feel like the topping has sugar in it. Yeah. Which is different. Considering a lot of the other places like Vendome and stuff did a lot of like spice on top and it like immediately kind of hit you and it was almost too much. This is nice. The sugar like cuts through that spice a little bit. It's actually quite pleasant. The presentation was great though. Like they had that little stencil that they did the, the sprinkle through and it was like a pumpkin on top of the drink. Top notch presentation. The sweetness I think is pretty well balanced. I actually am starting to like the bitterness more. Did you burn your tongue? No, I don't care. Hey Calvin. Yeah, what's wrong? I can only taste pumpkin spice. So like the cheese is taking over, now I can taste it. I mean like the food here is fantastic. Absolutely. Yeah. I would actually go far as to say that this pumpkin spice latte and this mac and cheese kind of complement each other. This is the last stop. You ready for this? That's a moose skull. It's good. It's really good. Much more subtle than I thought it was going to be. There's a lot of things that I think go into. Barista said that there's, there is actual pumpkin in this. I can taste that. I can taste the pumpkin. Is that what I'm tasting? Yeah. Again, I love their espresso. It's so light. 
This might be my favorite, sugar-wise. It's not extreme. Yeah, it's not super sweet. I was scared I was going to be sick drinking this, but I'm not. It definitely tastes like fall. The like, presentation, amazing. You know, like, look like a pumpkin. It did a pretty good job. Are we dead? Well, well. <laughs> We gotta wrap this up and give them a lesson. It's weird. Um, Get six fingers for me. What was your favorite uh, PSL? If I could pick. Yeah, you're gonna have to. I would say McDonald's one. We didn't have a McDonald's one. Jesse, pick one. Uh, Monogram. <laughs>